Welcome, Welcome to, to Twillingate. Twillingate. We're actually just a little bit north of Twillingate outside the town about maybe 10 minutes out of town, not yeah. even, at Crow's Head. We want to do some trails here. Twilling Gate so far is stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. And we've just arrived here at this lookout. So if you basically just drive to Crow's Head, there is a huge parking lot full of RVs and cars. It is free parking. There is a lighthouse heritage museum up here and it is the trailhead for a couple different trails and a lookout. So we're going to go do the lookout and then we're, we are going to do a small loop Yep. and it already looks stunning. Yeah, I think we're doing Nanny's whole loop, Yeah. which is a very short hike. It's only 1.6 kilometers. But it's a hot one and it's my birthday, so That's we're just right. gonna do a short hike and then maybe try to find a little patio in Twilling Gate and show you around there. For sure. Okay, let's go look at the lookout. All right. are not wearing proper hiking shoes today. Um, I have completely annihilated my heels with some of the hiking we've been doing and they really just needed some free air today. And this didn't look like a terribly strenuous hike. So before anyone comments on our footwear, Mitch is also in Burks only to be in solidarity with me. <laughs> He's the man. That's right. <laughs> Okay, so like we're maybe halfway down and we just turned around and we came down from the top of that. We did. Pretty awesome. Oh, Newfoundland has... Oh my lord. Amazing hiking. So great. Stunning. How is this Canada? <laughs> this is unreal. <laughs> the most amazing thing, uh, they're not out there right now, but there was whales out there again usually the gopro is too far away to capture them but newfoundland is stunning you can literally there's these spots where you just see whales all the time just blowing and you hear them and see, oh my gosh it's okay so that is where we began this video and showed you the views on this hike and now we're down on the other side of Nanny's Hole. That's the uh, trail that we're on. It's the Nanny's Hole Loop. There are so many trails up here in Crow's Head. You have a million to choose from. We use the All Trails app so we can see pictures and the length of the trail and how difficult it is. So if you want to get out and explore, um, look at all trails first and you can even choose things like we picked we want to see epic views and it gave us a list of trails around here it's phenomenal and uh i'd say the views are pretty epic babe are the views epic uh they're actually beyond epic they're completely stunning So right at the trailhead where we took the uh, trail, the Nanny's Head Loop trail, there's also a lighthouse museum and an art gallery. Um, it's called the Long Point Lighthouse, I believe, and Twillingate Lighthouse Museum. So I'm looking right now, it is the Lighthouse Heritage Museum for the exhibit only is $5 admission and the tower tours. Um, and the exhibit together is $10. So here's the old lighthouse and there's no one up there right now but i did see people up in the lighthouse so you can pay ten dollars to go out this is actually pretty interesting because it's like this long building like the light house keepers house and then this long i don't know what it is out to something else Guess I would have to pay my admission to get in and find out, but it's beautiful up here and I'm gonna go around back because it looks like the start of a trailhead. So this is just the beginning of another trailhead that's down here. So come up here if you like trails, there's so many to choose from. And the views all around here are spectacular. So just try to look around every corner because this is the view from the front of the lighthouse.
and you can just make out the town of Twilling Gateway over there because I can see its water tower. Hey guys, we're down at the wharf in Twillingate. We have some live music. We're super excited and we got uh, two flights for the price of one. We sure did and they look yummy. We got Split Rock Brewery. And we got music. And we got music. It's a perfect birthday celebration. actually in the town of Twillingate and oh my goodness. It's really charming. It's a nice little quaint charming town. This is quintessential Newfoundland. There are fishing boats, there are lobster traps everywhere, there's colorful houses and picnic tables and everything you could want in this town. So this is number one. This is one of the places that you can see icebergs yeah. up until early July. We're here mid to late July. There are no ice cubes ice cubes so yeah there's no icebergs when we're here today but definitely if you are here up until july they have seen icebergs so this is the place you want to come but twillingate has more to offer than that we didn't see any icebergs but we love this town yeah we really did we're gonna head back to our camp yep. site i don't think we've taken you there yet no we'll have to uh, show some footage when we get there yeah so we are at dildo run campground and it's beautiful we it have a is. spot on the water um, we had coffee today the tide was out so we took our chairs down and we were able to sit on the rocks at the beach awesome. <clears throat> there are a lot of water spots. So Dildo Run Campground, it is, tw what are we, 20 minutes? Yeah, we're 20 minutes. Yep. So it is a 20 minute drive from Twillingate, but it's beautiful and on the ocean. For sure. So yeah, we actually need to go back and get some dinner. We've had a busy day here uh -huh. hiking and walking around Twillingate. So we're gonna head there now. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Next to that we have Frig Off. Frig Off is a strawberry raspberry. After that we have our newest one, Ponies Pea. Ponies Pea, there's a reason behind that. We do have two Newfoundland ponies on the back of the building. You guys are welcome to go visit Misty and Midnight. So part of the proceeds of every bottle sold will go to Newfoundland Pony Association. What do you guys do, babe? So this is Fifty Shades of Bay. It is one of their only two wines that are done in oak. Uh, Fifty Shades. Yeah. Hi, how are you guys? Good. 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 50 Shades is your drive, so you're going to work I like it, to but very different. Very, very different. Yeah, like not. So if you guys like draw, you're going traditional to Traditional one. Yeah, up no, that's back. different, really good. Like medium, that was 50 Shades of Anne. Can you please tell me Funky Puffin three times so fast as you can? Okay. Uh -uh. 
Funky Puffin, Funky Puffin, Funky Puffin. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that doesn't work. Funky Puffin, Funky Puffin, Funky Puffin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a good one. You must love doing it. Okay, you have to say it too. Of course. Funky Puffin, Funky Puffin. <laughs> no need to swear, man. Huh? Funky Puffin. <laughs> you went right to it. You did. <laughs> it's just easier to tell it off before you have it. Funky Puffin. It. <laughs> funky Puffin, Funky Puffin. Brian, <laughs> 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 your turn. Fuck <laughs> you, damn Puffins. <laughs> this is Jelly Bean Row. Really cute label. These all have cute labels and awesome names. Oh, sorry, I'm staring over your shoulder. That's okay, creepy, but it's okay. Oh. That's like very like fruit juicy, like a cooler or something. Actually, like that's one of my faves. Oh, refreshing. That's really good. This is, yeah, this is Kiss Mirrors. Kiss Mirrors. Thank you. Yeah. All right, kiss me ours. Yeah, not my favorite. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right, so raspberry iceberg made with iceberg Yeah, so it's water. actually made with water from icebergs. That's why it's called iceberg. It's not an ice wine, but it is one of their sweetest ones. Hmm. No, it's not bad at all. Oh. Oh, that's like a little cooler too. I like that one. <laughs> Sweet, but very good. Yeah, like a mm -hmm. cooler. Yeah, I, don't, I couldn't drink <laughs> many of them, but yeah. very good. Anyway, so that was fun. So no grapes, because grapes don't grow in Newfoundland, so we're using all the other berries, but it's a fun little spot to stop in and a beautiful souvenir shop. So stop in here and smell great. Two thumbs up. Okay, well that was a fun little stop. Now, if you are a wine lover, Newfoundland wine is very different. It There are no grapes involved. I know we said this before. It's many different berries, blueberries, raspberries, things they can grow. Um, so we didn't buy any. It wasn't quite for us, but it was certainly fun and it was nice to taste it. And some of them had an interesting taste, not, a, not in a traditional wine sense that we enjoy, but um, it was still fun and it was a great spot to stop in and stretch your legs and really cute souvenirs and stuff in there as well. If you're interested, definitely stop in there in Twillingate. Anyway, I need to go and look at the beautiful, beautiful scenery here in Twillingate. It is the next morning. We did get back to our campsite last night. It was a little bit late. We just enjoyed some dinner and we sat by the ocean and watched the moon. Dildo Run Provincial Park here in Newfoundland is a beautiful park. There are so many nice sites, so many along the water for tents and for rigs. It's small. Um, but it's clean, we've had fresh showers, and it's got an amazing location because it's about 20 minutes from Twilling Gate. So we're just pulling on out now. Yeah, we love the park, and like Jan was saying, so many amazing waterfront sites that we're actually driving by right now, and each of them are like, very unique. Um, some of them you have to walk downstairs to get to the water, some of them yeah. are, are along water's edge and we're just gonna have to pull in <laughs> so the C-Class doesn't run into us. Um, super excited because we are headed to Bonavista. We are gonna make a stop along the way. We're doing a hike at Terra Nova and hopefully some puffins later puffins today. Puffins would be great. Yeah. Maybe with a side of whales. That would be great too. <laughs> yes, that would be amazing. So we'll see you along the road. Hello. We've made it to Terra Nova National Park. We're going on a hike. It's called the Malady Head Trail. All right, so we made it to the viewpoint, top of the mountain, well, maybe not quite the top of the mountain, but pretty close, and we got some pretty awesome views. The view is worth it. It's Definitely. pretty nice up here, and we're getting a nice breeze. So it's a straight in and back, not a loop. And um, yeah, we're gonna do that and 
carry on. We've still got some more driving to do and we have a cidery to check out. Oh, that's exciting. Is that what it's called? A cidery? I'm not sure. A cider place. But we've been really enjoying the craft beer scene and we're really excited because we are fans of cider. So let's, uh, let's hike on. Let's go. Well, we are taking a little five minute-ish detour that. Um, off the main highway on our way to Bonavista uh, for to go to a cidery and tasting house. Unfortunately, it's Sunday and it closes in half an hour, so we're going to be slightly rushed, but we will let you know whether or not it's worth taking a little detour on your way to Bonavista to stop in if you like cider. We have scallop Towtons. So Towton is a Newfoundland fried dough, essentially. Um, in this restaurant, they're serving it with scallops on top and a maple syrup bacon topping. Super excited, we have never had a Towton. This is very Newfoundland. Go Mitch. All right. Tastes like French toast. <laughs> That's really good. Okay. Everyone should have ordered this. That is so good. And with the scallops on, it's, it's literally great. like French toast with bacon and scallops. Yeah. Okay, that's really good. I'm gonna go eat this. Bye. Okay, I just had my second piece of Towton and it's actually outstanding. I didn't know what to expect at first. It tastes like French toast, but then you have the scallops and the bacon. Um, it's so unique. Would you say, Jan? I do say. It, it actually is. It's not, it's, yeah, it's not like anything. They said that online that I read that about you, that they say it's very unique, but it actually is. Um, and this combo they made with scallops and the sweetness of the maple syrup with the bacon. Oh, it's really it just, this is a unique dish. <laughs> but I, I, 10 out of 10 for the Towtons and like 12 out of 10 for the dish they've created here at, I don't know. Yeah, definitely awesome. So if you're in Newfoundland, definitely give the Towtons a try. Okay, so next, I'm, I'm feeling slightly guilty about this because now I feel bad. We're eating a moose burger. So in Newfoundland, there is a moose on the menu. A lot of times we have not had that yet, but here they have a moose burger. I'm not sure what else is on it. There's definitely a double patty happening. Whatever, we're just gonna give it a try. When in Newfoundland. <laughs> Look at that yumminess. Okay. It's actually very good. It's not game. It's sort of gamey, but it's just very different than beef. So it's not a bad flavor, and they've like really sauced it up nicely. But you still taste the burger. It's not taken over by all the condiments and everything else. I'm a fan. Okay, so I haven't had moose in years. Um, my parents used to hunt, so we had moose when I was a. Uh, little gaffer way back when but uh, I'm excited because I remember loving it I need going again I didn't get a lot of beef I love it it's not gamey at all it's delicious mm. 10 out of 10 highly recommend Ragged Rocks here in Bonavista Good morning, friends. 
I do not usually um, come to you on camera with my bed head, but I had to share with you. We boondocked in Bonavista last night. We were right in town after having a delicious dinner and at Ragged Rocks Gastro Pub is where we ate. And we're just down here and this is what we woke up to. really big whole bunch of parking spaces right by the sea right in town it is lovely it was quiet it was a really windy night but um i love these boondocking spots out here in newfoundland anyway i'm gonna go get some coffee going we're just doing a walk around Bonavista this morning. It's such a cute town. Just take some time and wander around. Um, there's lots of historic buildings and we're here at the courthouse and realize that there's a fun little thing. It's a working, what do we call these things? I forget what they're called. Uncomfortable. Well, Trend. why are you in the middle one? <laughs> this would be, I guess, what would happen to you if you were bad back in the day. Well, my hands just slide out, so I'm okay. You don't have those big fisherman hands. <laughs> super sad to come into town and see that the Bonavista Brewing Company was temporarily closed. It looks like they're doing some updates and hopefully they'll have a tap room. And so that would be a place you could check out while you were in Bonavista. Hey guys, we've had our coffee and our morning walk and we are in Bonavista. So about 15 minutes outside of Bonavista is the town of Elliston and that is where you are supposed to come to see the puffins. There are boat tours as well that you can do from many areas around here to see whales and puffins. We are coming here to sit on shore. Apparently you can go to a park. We'll tell you where that is. I'm super excited to hopefully just be sitting around a bunch of puffins. We're gonna take a picnic out there. We are coming down the hill right now and we can already see whales out in the ocean. Oh my gosh. And there's the Puffin Cafe. This place is known for its puffins. The other thing that Elliston is known for is be as root cellars. It is like a root cellar capital of the world. Um, I am very interested to see if we can find those if they're nearby. So Okay, so we are out here at the Puffin site. It's literally called the Puffin site, so you can Google it that way. It is stunning scenery out here. And I think we're already, we've seen whales, I think we told you that, but I think we're gonna have no problem seeing puffins. And there's root cellars along the way. So once we're done seeing the puffins, we'll definitely go and check a couple of those out yeah the other thing though just the topography here like it just looks like Ireland <laughs> like I can't get over this it's so beautiful over there it's so stunning
okay, there's like thousands of puffins. It is so wild and so cool. I've never seen anything like it. They look like little toucan sams. Yeah, they're just little, they're like miniature penguins. They are so cute and they are, there's thousands of them. They're very close. We just sat here with binoculars and watched them. And then there's whales out in the bay just stealing the show. They are spouting and playing. So this is a magical place to come. It's wild. It is. We were going to have a picnic here, but maybe with so many seagulls around, not such a great idea. <laughs> and also it's really windy up here. So if you are in Bonavista, definitely stop by Elliston, see the puffins, see this beautiful landscape, and we're gonna For go sure. check out a root cellar. Let's go. Hey, here's an old root cellar. <laughs> is it cold? Well, I guess the door is open. Cooler. You do feel it is cooler. No, no, you do though. feel a temperature change. To the light go on. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, don't, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> well, we can kick it down. <laughs> and that is a root cellar. Is a root cellar. And Brian's locked us in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me kick the door. <laughs> the whole frame was the other rock was gonna fall. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so intrigued by these root cellars. They're very cool. They uh, laid them out with the flagstone that can be found around here. It naturally breaks into nice flat stone and then they would like cement them together. And then the soil around here is not very nutrient rich. So families would grow vegetables in their garden and they would use kelp like seaweed um, and fish carcasses as nutrients that they would add to the garden. And then they would keep their root vegetables in these cellars and that would get them through the winter. And there is 133 documented cellars in Elliston. Okay, now I'll have to find a good place for a picnic. Right, babe? Yep, let's do it. Mm -hmm. down to Cape Bonavista. There's a lighthouse here and there's actually some pretty epic boondocking for spots. For sure, <laughs> for sure. If we didn't have a spot for mm -hmm. tonight, I think we'd be staying here because this looks wild. It does. We do want to have a little fun tonight though in town with some live music and yeah. stuff and just walk back to our van. But otherwise, this is beautiful. And there's quite a few spots along the way and there are signs that there obviously are welcoming boondockers yep. for a maximum of three nights yep. just to keep it under control. And I can see why because some people might just want to live here all summer for sure <laughs> and there are trails all around walking trails all the way here basically from out of town we're about six kilometers north of Bonavista proper okay so we're walking to the lighthouse and just all of the rock and the land is like just crazy let me show you a couple things Like you can hear the ocean coming in. Cape Bonavista Lighthouse was opened in August 1978, so... Not super old. Not super old at it's all. It's a very different looking lighthouse. It is. Sort of not traditional. And but I guess it uh, does its job. It does do its job. But the views out here are worth coming for. And there are some puffins on the uh, little island over oh, here. there is. So lucky us, there is a festival in Bonavista today, or actually this entire week, and tonight is a mummers parade. So if you don't know what a mummer is, I'm gonna do our best to explain it afterwards, but right now let's enjoy the parade because it's just starting. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
short parade. <laughs> Best parade I've ever seen. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna tell you a little bit more about Mummers when we figure it out ourselves. Um, but yeah, it involves getting dressed up in costumes. And traditionally, I guess you would go to say your friend's house, a group of you in costume. They have to feed you and serve you drinks until they guess who you are. And then you take off your costume and whatever. And you can carry on to another house. And if anyone knows anything about it, yeah. drop a comment below. Yeah, have you ever done this? Have you ever dressed up as a mummer? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. Now, live music. All right. Down, down, down in the flames with her. I burst, burst, burst. We <laughs> Number one, I want you to put a finger down if you've got a picture on your camera roll of the lighthouse that came out of this thing. Put a finger down if you've got a picture. <laughs> I want you to put a finger down if you've seen a whale. I want you to put a finger down if you have seen a puffin. Woo! Major Good, alright. I want you to put a finger down if you hit a pothole on the way here. Done, I'm out. I want you to put a finger down if You've had to ask a local to repeat themselves because you don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know what I have it. I'm so sick from the drink. I need home for the rest. No way for us to part work. I'm going to lay the hell there right. Don't want to keep rolling. No one wants to keep. Hold the glass up if you're not sure if you got enough. Tastes good, you can taste that. Little sip, make sure it's good. Hold it up, I'm gonna count down okay. three, two, one, and as loud as you can, you're gonna yell sociable. Alright, here we go, just like this. Three, two, one, sociable! I think that's the best one we had all year. Watch the potholes on the way out. Cheers. <laughs>